In this Rhino tutorial, we'll learn how to make this bracelet. Uh, there are many ways of um, building a bracelet. This is very quick and dirty. This is more for like prototyping. Uh, it's good enough to 3D print, but uh, this is just to get you started with a uh, uh, Rhino. Um, so I'll just use small object in millimeters. Perfect. Uh, I won't be entering uh, any dimension, but uh, actually I'll use the top view and we'll start with a rectangle, this one, REC, and it'll be easier if I go center. So I click on center, type 0, enter, and then we could just drag and I'll just eyeball it, something like this. So if we need the this to be perfectly rounded, we could do a fillet of exactly half of this dimension. Another way is to explode these curves. So now we have four lines. Get rid of those two. And we can do an arc by clicking here or just typing arc, enter. And in the arc, we can press T or click here for tangent. The first tangent curve is this one. Second, he wants to know if there's a third, just right-click, and which side, voila. We can right-click to redo it. Uh, oops, sorry. Right-click, tangent. Here, right-click, and here, voila. We could join this if we want, so Control j to join. And uh, it looks a bit long to me, so it's going to change the design, but I'll do a little bit of this. Actually, I'll leave it long. Um, to do the, uh, the cutout inside, many way, but you could just draw uh, some sort of cutout like this with the line tool or the polyline. Uh, this is totally up to you, uh, the actual design, uh, like that. Um, Voila, I think the other one was more, it's a little bit like this. Uh, and the other one was more like this. Voila. And then we had one here, I think. And I think here I did some sort of a triangle. Voila, and here the same. Perfect. Uh, for sure, we could move point like this to make it look much nicer. Um, but we could also use fillet. So I'll go regular fillet. 0.5 is half of a square, so we could click here and there. Uh, here we could use more, so I'll go 1. And uh, click 1, and a second time. Voila. I can right click to redo it. Voila. Uh, we could also use it here. Now it might be too high, so we'll go back to point here. We'll go smaller, 25 quarter. Voila. Uh, we could also use chamfer, but I think you understand the, the principle. Uh, to convert this into a surface, it's pretty simple. You select it all and you go planar surf. So now if we go in shaded, you'll see that we have a surface. Here we go. So select this, bent, zero, hold shift, make sure symmetric is turned set to yes, and voila. Like this, and we could still uh, scale it a little bit with this. Like I said, this is... Uh, conceptual. We could make it a little bit wider too. And then we could go offset surf to give it thickness and make it a solid. I usually use uh, yes for loose. So the second um, surface is, it has exactly the same number of line. And here we'll go maybe 2.5. Uh, Let's try that. Voila. We can finally finish this with fillet edge. Uh, point one should be fine. Like 
it was a little bit too much, but that's... you get the point.